At the turn of the century, new metal was at its peak, and two of the bands leading the pack, Slipknot and Limp Bizkit. Everything was going great for these guys until one day, Fred Durst, the frontman of Limp Bizkit, decided to call Slipknot's fans fat, ugly losers. Despite, you know, the two bands sharing a lot of the same fans. And this would cause one of the first great online wars of the 2000s, Slipknot fans versus Limp Bizkit fans. So today, I'm gonna hop in my time machine and watch this old feud play out through a series of old websites and emails littered with slurs and misspellings. And if you want to be there live for the next recording of Angel Fire Adventures, be sure to follow me on Twitch. This new blue light bulb might be a little bit too much, I got a Aurora Borealis going on. This video is brought to you by Harry's. Personally, I hate going to the drugstore and getting things like overpriced razors because then, you know, it's all crowded. You gotta stand online, man, long. The person in front of you has no idea how to operate the kiosk. It's made for even a dumb person to use. And Harry's founders, Jeff and Andy, were tired of paying for overpriced razors at the store, so they went and they bought a razor factory in Germany. And now they help millions of men shave hassle-free with shaving necessities delivered right to their door. Harry sent me their starter set, which includes weighted handle with textured rubber grip, a five blade razor cartridge, foaming shave gel, and a travel cover to protect my razor when I'm on the go. And while the mustache is going nowhere, it's good to clean up my cheeks and my neckline. They also support great causes, donating 1% of every sale to mental health causes for men and veterans. Harry's trial set is a great deal, and you'll get everything you need to get started on a close, comfortable shave. And you'll be supporting my channel by signing up. Redeem your trial set for just $3 by going to harrys.com slash wang. Again, that's harrys.com slash wang to redeem your offer and join the 10 million who've already tried Harry's. Fred Durst. Oh yeah, there's a dick jerk. <laughs> oh, there's like a MS Paint dick jerking off into Fred Durst's mouth. Little, the, the widest urethra. I've ever seen. They're the opposite of Hank Hill. Hell yeah. Fred Durst sucks. Slipknot fans are fat, ugly ki I think that's what he actually said, actually. I think that might have been the quote that set this whole thing off. Fred Durst Slipknot fat, ugly kids. Group singer Corey Taylor told the crowd at Slipknot's New York show Monday night a story about an anonymous rock star. Telling the audience, he said, and I quote, Slipknot's fans are a bunch of fat, ugly kids. If you had a Venn diagram of the Slipknot and the Limp Bizkit fan base at the time, it was it wasn't a perfect circle. Like you had like the more burly crowd on the Limp Bizkit side and the more hot topic-y gothy crowd on the Slipknot side, but there was a, a significant overlap there. So Fred Durst probably roasted a lot of his own fucking fans in that comment. Taylor continued. So I said, Fred, you may have a lot of money be all over the world, but when you talk shit about Slipknot and our fans, we will kill you. While the Slipknot fans had a very strong internet presence, they were nuns too happy about it. The Spanish Association Against Fred Durst. We got our Spanish backup army pissing on the Limp Bizkit sign? Why is there a big metal Limp Bizkit sign just like in the world? Enter the sick realm of Slipknot. Fred talks a lot of shit. Fred thinks he is all that. Fred is an idiot. After high school, he briefly served in the Navy, got married, had a child, and divorced. Are there, are there pictures of Fred Durst in the Navy? We're in the Navy, y'all! The Orange County Register called him illiterate, and the Weekly Standard named him a Fred Dunce. Can we get a fact check on that? Fred Dunce. Weekly Standard. He did it all for the etymologist Nookie. Durst, lead singer of the rap metal band Limp Bizkit, was, right, was widely mocked after he deviated from the script at the Grammy Awards to offer an anti-war sentiment that grated on the ears of grammarians. I just really hope we're all in agreement that this war should go away as soon as possible. Wordsmiths, wordsmiths everywhere agreed. Durst is dumb, they said as we bombed all kinds of fucking kids around the world. But uh, Fred Durst is dumb, that's the problem. <laughs> uh, Barry Colton, now the Orange County Register, called him illiterate. 
the Atlanta Journal-Constitution said its copy desk was in agreement that agreeance isn't a word. A bunch of fucking nerds. Um, we are, I, I feel like us in the chat, we're all in agreement. These guys are a bunch of fucking wieners. Barry Colt now. This him? I think so. You look like fucking Chuck E. Cheese. There was supposed to be a stream about how, you know, Slipknot and Limp Bizkit had a feud. And Slipknot, to me, is cooler than Limp Bizkit. Now it's like I gotta defend Fred Durst from all these fucking dorks. Let's do our own cool, non-nerd cool guy search. Agreeance, is that a word? Fred Durst. Fred, I don't think Fred Durst made this dictionary. How does it feel, word experts, to be owned? by Fred Durst. Agreement. While agreeance is a word, it hasn't often been used since the 19th century. You know what that means? That means Fred Durst is cultured. After all, he is a professional lyricist, so he would know these things. Haggit Bohr, chairwoman of the University of Southern California's linguistics department, also defended Durst, calling his word choice innovative. Oh, oh, the day after they published a fucking correction. They published the correction. Rocker's grammar okay after all. The experts are in agreement. Rocker Fred Durst was right after all. Durst, lead singer of the rap metal band Limp Bizkit, was widely mocked after he offered an anti-war sentiment at the Grammy Awards. I just really hope we're all in agreement that this war should go away as soon as possible. Columnists everywhere, including one calling him Fred Dunce, blasted him saying agreeance isn't a word. But the North American editor of the Oxford English Dictionary told the New York Observer that agreeance is, in fact, a word. Although an obsolete one since about the 1740s. Damn, we pushed this back even further now. Limp Bizkit, Fred Durst, one media nerds, word experts, fucking big fat L. I'm going to make the Woodstock people go so that's how you do it. Alright guys, do you remember how Woodstock 1999 went? Woodstock 1999. Fire! The crowds are blowing up CO2 tanks from the track. <laughs> what is Slipknot doing? At a record signing in New York City, Corey took one of the markers used to sign with and wrote Fuck Fred on the palm of his hand and constantly waved at every per- that's- waved at every person coming to see them. Fucking owned, man. Fred is- oh, Fred sorry. Fred Durst of Limp Bizkit is reported as saying that he is sorry for saying anything bad to other bands following the terrorist attacks in America. More shockingly, he said he plans to work with artists such as Eminem, the Goo Goo Dolls, and Slipknot. There is nothing that is more- an artifact of this period in time than the fact that 9-11 resolved a feud between Limp Bizkit and Slipknot. Oh, <laughs> Newgrounds. Slipknot versus Limp Bizkit on Newgrounds. Yo, I saw this back in the day! Holy shit. I remember this clear as fucking day. Yes! Yes! Corey Taylor chopped- he hits him with the chainsaw and his entire body explodes. Holy shit, I cannot believe I remember this. Got bored, heard about Fred's shit talking, and made this wild act. Hope you like. Oh, anti Fred Durst section, there we go. Hell yeah. You are one of the billions of maggots who think Fred Durst should fuck off and go to hell. Then you should know it's not just Slipknot fans he screws with, it's the whole fucking world. Fred's just got too big-headed and thought he was better than the music, so he started mouthing off every single band there is. But then, he started on Slipknots. This page is dedicated from us maggots to Fred Durst. That's the classic Dave Coria artwork that was fucking everywhere at that period in time. You know what? I'm just gonna search Fuck Fred Durst. The anti-Fred Durst movement, Angel Fire. I created this site for one reason and one reason only. To tell people why others and I don't like Fred Durst. Not Limp Bizkit, 
Some people like Limp Bizkit, but not Fred, and that's okay with me, although I personally don't like Limp Bizkit anymore. I do still enjoy $3 Bill, but that is the past. Some stories and opinions on why others hate Fred there. Story number one. He is such a fucking ass. Way back when LB were on Warped, I too loved them. I have and still listen to $3 Bill, yo. Anyway, he's a fucking pedophile. A friend of mine, younger, went to see them on Warped when she was in 8th grade. He was coming on to her, asking her if she wanted to come back to the trailer, etc, etc. It was gross. I just told him to back off and we left. I've heard stories like this everywhere. Holy shit, man. Come on to people your own age. Jesus. I'm glad someone else realizes what an egotistical asshole he is. I blame him alone for LB selling out. Number two. Hell yeah, he'll be autographing the covers of Team Beat Magazine and hidden on the eight-year-old girls that own the mag at the same- What a fucking sell- So this person is calling him a, uh, a pedo- Like, she, are, give, giving a pedo accusation, but then calling him a sellout. And the same thing, like, I feel like one accusation kinda outweighs the other accusation of him selling out. All right, let's explore the rest of this webpage, though, can we? Hell yeah, there's a lot of stuff. Welcome to the realm of Slipknot. If you have not joined my army against the ASKA by now, click here to do so. I have over 600 maggots. Be a part of the team. If you don't know what the ASKA is, it's the anti-Slipknot army. Uh-oh, fuck those guys. We gotta learn what's going on. The anti-Slipknot army is actually this one guy who made a webpage about how stupid Slipknot and all their fans are. This guy needs mega bad publicity. Help me. I shall make this section of my page dedicated to him. Hell yeah, fuck this guy. This guy is 18 and he lives in England. To visit his webpage, go here. I feel like it's not going to be up, but it might be archived. This, yo, this is like the original cancel culture here. Like, you didn't have Twitter or Facebook or any of that shit to cancel somebody. You literally had to make a web page. Antislipknotarmy.co.uk. Yeah, it's not there anymore. Fingers crossed for the internet archive. It's here. All right. Do you like bands where the singer just kind of gargles vomit into the microphone? Do you like stupid masks and boiler suits? Do you call yourself a maggot? If you answered yes to any of these questions, then fuck off. There's nothing for you here. The anti-Slipknot army is a group of like-minded people who think that Slipknot are shit. We are fully aware that this is just an opinion. Be aware that if you send us hate mail, your inane ramblings will almost certainly make us laugh. Please email the Asuka at one of the following addresses. Hate mail, let's do it. Subject, no subject. First of all, you can go fuck yourself. Slipknot is just another underground band who kicks fucking ass. <laughs> Hell yeah, Slipknot is just another underground band that kicks fucking ass and won't sell out and like half the bands that are out in today's music industry. So fuck off, because you will never bring down a band because a band has never been brought down and it sure in hell will not be brought down due to some fucking European French fuck or whatever the fuck you are. Hmm. His, his retort? That last sentence speaks volumes about the ignorance of certain Americans. This fucking European French fuck or whatever I am is from England and firmly believes that Slipknot will not sell out. Not again, at least. Hmm. Subject, none. Ha! Slipknot fans are so stupid, right? I'm so sure that we're the ones spelling things like a 10-year-old girl on our site. Slipknot fans, all they do is vomit and scream and shit. Wow, so stupid. You are so perfect. How about this? You give me one reason other than I will look stupid taking out your aggression like that. Maybe I will consider what you are saying. And oh yeah. The people that wear Slipknot shirts are, yes, just like you wearing your Abercrombie bullshit. We are all walking billboards. Get it right, motherfucker. And lastly, if you wanted attention, you should have just raped the donkey. I'm so sure that your beloved media would have picked that up in a second. Nice pick. <laughs> okay.
Who the fuck are you to think you can judge Slipknot? Or is it just that your bands just fucking suck too damn much? Man, you must have no fucking life, dude. For all we know, you guys could be a group of F slurs living in an apartment sucking each other's dick as we speak. You know what? I'm gonna put this plain and simple just as Slipknot told Fred. You ever talk shit about Slipknot again, I'll kill you myself. You son of a bitch. <laughs> Here's two words that maybe you will understand. Fuck you. It's worth that the last two words, fuck and you, when that auto would have been made absolutely huge, presumably to help groups of <laughs> living in apartments sucking each other's dicks in that. Like we obviously do all the time because Brandon says so, understand? I'm going to put this plain and simple. Just like Fry at Futurama said, to a pitch up Oda once. That's a stupid animal. You're stupid. You're stupid. You're stupid. Okay, that has no relevance, but I like it. And you are stupid. <laughs> Hell yeah! Slipknot rules, F got. So you think Slipknot sucks? <laughs> what do you like? Some. Dancing around on stage with his ass hanging out, talking in some language that only homies can understand? Slipknot is the sh- <laughs> <coughs> Slipknot is the shit. Us maggots are going to fuck you. <laughs> fuck off. Well done, you managed to be racist, homophobic, and unbearably stupid in the course of one single email. I'm so very glad that I'm not you. Subject, no sub- Dude, you need to sh- <laughs> Everyone, dude, you need to shut your mouth, because Slipknot can't help it that they're better than your little f loving Lincoln Park preppy shit, because you just some queer prep who's very misguided. No one can help that you are a bunch of preppy babbies that don't know good music when you hear it. Or at least he slags off Lincoln Park, the Backstreet Boys of rock better than Slipknot though. Subject. You oh, this guy wrote a subject. Subject. You suck cock. Yes, you are gay and fuck guys. <laughs> yes, you are gay and you fuck guys. I, I, you think, if you came over here and played, over here being the US, you probably get the shit kick out of you. Why? Because you are a white ass motherfucker and needs to die. So go fuck off. Your site sucks. What is its purpose? No one gives a shit about you except your Fs. And if you ever talk Slipknot like that, I mean, again, I have hacker friends and they would easily fuck your site up. Don't think I'm bluffing. Remove the link about Slipknot or your site gets jacked, okay? Go fuck your queen. Realist. No, I'm not gay. My opinion differs. My opinion differs from yours. Get over it. it so hack me. Now that my side is back, I welcome a nice big hacking. Give me a shout. I'll be fucking my queen. Subject. <laughs> Subject. Fuckface. Hey, what's up, fuckface? What? Yo, I'm gonna start every email like that. That's so good. Well, you better put this on your hate mail page because I want to see it. Well, first of all, man, you must be a fucking loser to put out a website like this, man. You totally do not have a life, and you need to realize that. No one cares what you think about Slipknot, and no one even cares about you. You don't really see the nature of Slipknot. You take a look and comment, never actually listen to the music. That is why people like you equal shit. Look, it's not Slipknot's fault you're a fucking loser, so quit fucking trying to get attention by making an anti-Slipknot site, fuckface. Find something else to do, pussy. Well, I'm out. If you want to contact me, go ahead. My email address is maggotcourtmember. I would love an email back from you. Maybe we can chat, pussy. Later, Slipknot rules your mom. Subject, 01234567. Listen here, motherfucker. If you're gonna, if you're gonna stand up and talk so much shit, then you'd better be ready for a motherfucking war. I personally would rip that cocky head off your shoulders. I am one person alone. What you may not realize, Slipknot has a rather large following of faithful maggots. 
You are fucking with an entire legion of Yo, this is like the pro the the for the fucking anonymous prototype. We are legion, we are slipknot maggots. You are one loud, obsessed, jealous piece of shit. Think about who you're fucking with. You wouldn't talk your shit in front of the knot themselves. They would erase your sorry ass. Laugh all you fucking want at me, because I do not care what you or anyone else thinks of me. This is your opinion, and I respect that, but you've got only talk. Talk is cheap, you piece of garbage. Let me see you take real action. I will fuck you up and leave you to bleed to death, and think about your sorry existence. You are nothing in this world. If you continue to make a fuss, you will soon learn you opened your mouth about the wrong group of people. I will not waste my time with your kind. Only one of us walks away. Sincerely, 666 maggot number 7. Oh, they got the maggot number. I remember there was a website. I don't know if it was universal and if like, like the system was like obeyed by everyone, but there was a website that would give you your own like maggot number. I had one. I don't remember what mine was, but you would get a number. And Slipknot fans are the original gamers. You know what, I guess I can cap this off by just looking into the majesty of the Fred Durst Dreamcasts. Oh, there we go, that's Fred Durst signing the Dreamcast. That's one of them, in the package. But a bid on a piece of history, the Fred Durst signed Dreamcast. I gotta get myself one of these. Oh, I remember these ads, Seganet, with Dreamcast being like one of the first... That was like the big selling point of the Dreamcast when it came out that you could play online. And a part of that was... If, if you get your ass kicked, it's probably me on the other end of the line. Fred Durst, Sega Net member. You get your Dreamcast, you might be playing with Fred Durst. And maybe if you're really lucky, you might be playing against Fred Durst on a Dreamcast he signed himself. They, they do pop up on eBay from time to time. But there's one of them in a museum. At least one of them. Fred Durst Dreamcast. Museum. Where is this museum that has the Fred Durst Dreamcast? Alright, it's... Yes! Reddit, my local museum has a Dreamcast, signed by Fred Durst. But then, he, some of them he signed the plastic on the outside, some of them he signed the actual Dreamcast. Thanks for entering our contest. Per our conversation, please find enclosed a Sega Dreamcast system, which is a limited edition, numbered, and autographed by Fred Durst and Limp Bizkit. Have a happy and safe holiday, and remember, dreams cast come true. Donated by Deborah Fenner. To the Sloan Museum. This Sega Dreamcast was autographed by Fred Durst, lead singer of the rock band Limp Bizkit. The donor's son won the video game console in a contest at Universal Music at the Genesee Valley Mall in 1999. The gaming system and its tie to the mall can be used to talk about the shift away from a downtown shopping district in the 1970s and the ensuing growth of Flint's West Side. Oh, and Limp Bizkit rocks.